Hi there. In this video, we're going to be looking at this very simple DC resistive network. Okay, let's make a start with a blank canvas. Let's bring in our battery. Okay, so on the top there, place it. And um, we get this dialog box. I'm going to enter 10 for 10 volts. Okay, now I want a couple of resistors. This one can be R1. Place that. And I'd like its value to be 2 kilo ohms or 2K as we type in that. Okay, this one's going to be R2. I'd like this to be 3K. Click OK. Great, okay. Click on the selection arrow to eliminate the last component from your mouse. And we're going to drag in uh, an animated meter. This is going to be an ammeter, so by default it's on volts. So what we're going to do is click on the type and change it from volts to amps and click OK. Good. What we'd also like is a voltmeter and that one by default should be on volts anyway, so that's fine. So just click on OK there. OK. And the next stage is to wire up the circuit. Okay, so grab the wiring tool and off we go wiring away. Now this circuit is just going to be a resistor and R1 and R2 all in series. Okay, so we have a potential divider formed by R1 and R2. Okay, here's all that wiring. Um, obviously that ammeter at the top there is going to measure the current in this series network. This voltmeter on the right here that I'm trying to wire in, oops, we just change that wire a bit. Okay, that's good. That's going to measure the voltage across R2. Okay, and don't forget the earth, which I've just placed there. Right, okay, let's just see if we can possibly magnify this arrangement. That's good. Okay, next step uh, I would like to simulate to so click on analysis dynamic DC like so and we have this little dialog box which pops up here okay um, now then what you'll also notice on the ammeter on the left there is it's saying 2 milliamps which if you work out there's a total of 5k in this series circuit supplied by a 10 volt battery 10 divided by 5k get you yep 2 milliamps 2 milliamps flowing through R2, which is 3K, 2 by 3, multiply that by the milliamps times the K, which cancel out, and we get 6 volts, which is what that voltmeter is suggesting there. Okay. And you'll also notice I'm clicking on some of these little icons on this dialog box here, and they will measure things like uh, current in the circuit, um, voltages at various nodes, even the power dissipated in resistors, um, connection points, etc, etc. Okay, um, okay, let me just click OK there and we're going to then exit the analysis like so. Okay, so um, see you in the next video.